Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where my partner John Coleman and I have something very exciting to speak to you about today. John, what, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> Art, I like to think that we solve all the problems of the world in our little discussions each week. It's certainly, I think... or why like aloe, we make it less painful. <laughs> So today I want to deal with uh, the heavens. I want to deal with the celestial bodies that surround our earth, that, that run our lives. I want to deal with the moon and the sun and the Wait, firmament. Are you, are, you, are you giving your self-interpretation of uh, Elma Gantry? <laughs> well, I'm it's like the morning the and the evening star. Oh, what are yeah, you, what? Okay, John, oh, John. John, what are we going to talk about today? The equinox. Oh, the equinox. Who doesn't want to talk about the equinox? Come on. So there, there are four of them, aren't there? There's like a, a, the guess. longest day, the shortest day, and two equal days or something like that? Yeah. So, so I, I, as I understand it, um, equinox is kind of a general term of uh, major uh, changes in the sun in relationship to the Earth. As we travel around as the earth travels around the sun, um, we travel in an elliptical orbit. So we don't, it's, it's, not, it's not always the same, it's changing. Mm -hmm. And when we get close to the sun um, and, and our planet is tilted a certain way, the northern hemisphere experiences uh, winter and the southern hemisphere mm -hmm. experiences summer. Well, in the equinox, that is every September 20th or so, and every March 20th or so, in the equinox, we're, we're halfway between those two solstices, the summer solstice and the winter solstice. Mm. And we will find that the day, if you read a, an almanac, the daytime, daylight time is exactly the same duration as the night time without the sun. Whereas in the summer, June 21st or so, you have the longest day of the year, at least okay, in, so, the northern, so, in the Northern Hemisphere. So I, I it, so that we don't get sued, uh, I wanted to clear right here that if you, anybody out here uses this information to help their kids or grandkids with a project, and the kid gets left back because they're totally wrong about <laughs> equinoxes, okay? We're not it's, on, it's, it's on you because it's on you because we're just making up a lot of the stuff as we go along, although there are kernels of truth in there. Okay, now I'd like to talk about the real importance of the equinoxes, uh, where you're supposed to be able to balance an egg or a broom. Oh yeah, I haven't heard that. Brush. And I have, I have a relative who sends a picture every year on the equinoxes of balancing an egg on her kitchen table. I haven't had anybody sending the, the broom thing. Uh, yeah. Whether or not it's a crazy glue deal, or it actually happens, I don't know. I've never, I don't know whether I ever even tried. I may have tried once. The only thing that I know for sure, besides death and taxes, is that when you flush your toilet in the southern hemisphere, it goes the other way. So the first thing you do when you go to Australia or New Zealand is you fill a sink or a toilet, and, and you, you flush it, and you watch it go down, and you're going to see that it rotates in the other direction. Yeah, counter so that's all I know for sure, because I traveled there for this express scientific version uh, to, to find out what happens when you flush a toilet or let water go down in the sink. Now, back to equinoxes, okay? Uh, they're so unimportant from the standpoint of the zeitgeist of our lives that I don't think Hallmark has ever made a, uh, a card saying no no they haven't and we've need we need to correct that art we do happy equinox to you by the way it's a it's a week away for right for right now but here's the importance of it for gardeners like me we often will plant by the schedule of the equinoxes of the of the sun or plant by the phases of the moon hmm. and there are certain crops that they recommend this is old ancient uh, wisdom they recommend planting 
you know, in a full moon or planting without a moon. And um, the equinox is the beginning of fall. So next week, fall begins officially. So you can expect your deciduous trees to start dropping leaves. You can expect, I can expect my tomatoes to start dying. Wait, wait. Off. So equinoxes is when the, uh, or the, uh, the, uh... The fall, there are two equinoxes where the day and the night are exactly the same length. Right. Whereas in the summer, the, 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 the day is a longer day and the night is the shortest night, something like that. So on, on the fall, on the one that's coming up, if you do an avocado yeah, and you plant it on that day, then you should be able to get two perfect halves. Should you not? I, you really need to write. A uh, an an encyclopedia about this stuff. You are so knowledgeable. I can't. Wow, believe it. I really yeah. am. Okay, <laughs> so if we not the only thing we know for sure is yeah. that if you Google uh, the uh, the when's the next equinox, it's going to be on the twenty second, which is a week from today. Right. And uh, go get yourself an egg and a broom, and, and see uh, if don't put the egg, don't put the egg too close to an edge of a table, because if it doesn't work, it again it's on you. Yeah, and and don't try to swirl your water in your toilet the wrong way. It doesn't work. Just yeah. let it go down. Yeah, uh, was it, that's frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Something like that. <laughs> I've seen the songs or something. Anyway, you're, you're mixing metaphors here, but okay, whatever. Uh, but then well, that's, we, what the, that's what the equinox is for. No, that's what the this vlog is, is for. A wonderful it's, celebration. The vlog is for celebrating. A lot of nonsense and yes. some good stuff. Again, disclaimer: do not, do not blame us when your kid gets left back a grade based on the knowledge that you shared from this vlog. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.